When configuring the wireless fusion options on a MC9090 Windows Mobile Terminal, what you would do, you'd go into Manage Profiles. From here, you'd want to add your profile. What is your wireless what is your wireless profile? Put that in, put in your ESSID, say test. Uh, you want to pick the country, whether it be USA, whether it be any uh, other country, it's going to come up with a warning that you just press OK. Make sure you only use this in the country that is allowed. If you have your authentication, you would select it here. If you have your encryption, you would select it here, AES and whatnot. Uh, DHCP, unless you want it static, you could put in static, put in your address, put in advanced, which will give you subnets and gateways. We will just use DHCP in this example. Transmit power, uh, leave that at automatic. And fast power, that will auto adjust to save battery. So you see here you have two profiles. We're just going to disable this top one, and we're going to leave this one that says lab. So if we press OK, there's another section that we need to change in options. In options, mainly you can make these changes if it's on a symbol Motorola infrastructure. Uh, there's really no changes to make, but to optimize the settings for third party um, and sometimes um, Motorola wireless networks, we're gonna we don't want to talk to an ad hoc network, so we're gonna press save. Um, if your system does not support a 211 d You'd want to uncheck this box. Uh, most symbol wireless networks support it straight from uh, the factory. And then band selection, you can choose 802.11vg or 802.11a. That's your choice. I'm going to leave it at vg. System options, um, auto time config. If you don't, if your wireless does not support this, you want to uncheck that and press save as well. And then you'll go down. We're going to export. Um, Basically, we're going to export the options we just made. We'll say save. We are going to export the profiles that we have in our Manage Profiles area. So once that saves, what that's going to do is put those files on our terminal in the application directory. So what we want to do is there's oops, there are two registry files here. So if we active sync to our device, we can press explore and it will come up. We'll say my mobile device, go to applications directory, you see two registry files. So if the terminal does a clean boot or is reboot, those files are already there. We're just going to copy them and we're going to just put them on our PD, put them in a directory here and we'll say paste. So what that is, is you could take any other terminal, copy those two to the application directory, run this clean boot, which basically will reboot the terminal and merge any registry files. And every terminal will have already be set up on your wireless network. So it saves the time of configuring the terminals by hand each time. You can just active sync these two, term these two files over, put these three clean boot files in your temp directory, reboot your terminal, and they will be up on the network.